We are following after several delays. The Silver Line is finally open. Thousands of riders pack trains at the five new stations today, wanting to take part in this historic event. Richard Reeve is live at the Tyson's Corner Station with a look at day one. Rich. Yeah, Candace, this area is really transformed. If you listen carefully, you'll hear something we've never heard here before, the sound of a metro train. Now, $3 billion later, the Silver Line is finally open, and the shoppers couldn't be happier. It's a Silver Line Saturday night. And nothing but positive reviews. And Tyson's Corner shoppers are glad the new trains are rolling. Nice new floors, the seats were clean, the train was clean, they have cameras on the train now, so it was a nice ride. A cheer went up as the first Silver Line train left the Wheelie Reston station at noon. This is going to be a game changer for Virginia. More than 10,000 people used a Silver Line station Saturday, including Reston resident Nick Dosett. My company moved to Tyson's Corner two weeks ago uh, to take advantage of the Silver Line. So very significant day for Reston and for my company. Shutterbug Nicholas Lee has photographed every station happy to be above the traffic and not in it. Going by a regular truck, regular bus takes forever. Driving by car also takes some time. So if there's trains you know, connected, it's so much easier. But there are concerns. For many of us in McLean, there is no bus service and there will be no bus service. The McLean Citizens Association has concern about access, parking, and area growth. And the question is, how is it going to affect our downtown McLean? How is it going to affect some of the neighborhoods that are close to Tyson's. The hope is that the Silver Line will relieve traffic. Still, there are holdouts like Neil Chatterjee. And I'm looking forward to the Silver Line taking some of the traffic off of the roads, but uh, at the end of the day, I like my car and uh, being able to, to come and go. And Metro says it eventually expects about 50,000 trips a day. The big winners here in Tyson's, of course, the merchants and the shoppers. This was sort of a dry run today, seeing that it's Saturday. The real deal expected on Monday. Live from Tyson's Corner, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. All right, the Silver Line open officially after five years in the works. All right, this afternoon's opening only included phase one of the Silver Line. Work is underway on phase two of the project. It'll extend more than 11 miles to six new stations, including Dulles International Airport. Phase two is expected to open up in 2018. Also launching today, the Silver Line Express bus. It'll run between Dulles International Airport and the Wheelie Reston East Station. Buses will operate every 20 minutes every day and every 15 minutes during rush hour on weekdays. Bus fare will be $5 each way. The first real